Every six minutes someone in Australia is admitted to hospital because of an osteoporotic fracture. That means it's a fracture that's happened just in the course of their everyday life, like they've tripped over and broken something. I'm Natalie Sims and I'm the Head of the Bone Cell Biology and Disease Unit at St Vincent's Institute. I study bone diseases not only because people suffer from these diseases, but also because there's very little that we actually know about the skeleton and how it works. Even though you don't realise it, your skeleton is constantly changing and there's cells in your body that look after the structure of your bone. We know from statistical studies that when people have a fracture, they're much more likely to lose their independence and need to go into a nursing home. And I know this is true personally because when I was studying at uni, I was living with my grandmother and she had a fall in the garden and broke her shoulder. And I witnessed firsthand how detrimental it was to her health in the next couple of years and how she really was no longer able to look after herself, all because she'd fallen and broken a bone. If we can find new treatments to treat osteoporosis, people won't have to go through that pain and suffering that they've had.